Now dear student, we are going to discuss question number 3.22 and let us try to understand this question. This question is related to electrical instrument potentiometer. Potentiometer is an electrical instrument which is used to measure potential difference between these two points. And actually this instrument is actually very accurate if we compare with voltmeter. Clear? But there is a one drawback of this uh, instrument. What is that drawback? Actually this is a bulky. Clear? We cannot carry, uh, we, we, we can say this uh, instrument, the potentiometer is not a portable instrument, clear? Actually we need a setup, we need a table, we need a large wooden box or we can say wooden platform on which we can uh, actually place a wire, clear? And we need also a one large scale and so on, clear? So what I am saying to you? Potentiometer is an instrument which is used to measure potential difference between two points, clear? So how can we calculate? Actually potentiometer works on a principle of potential gradient. Potential gradient means potential difference per unit length, yes or no? So now in this question what is given to you, listen carefully, each and every line is very very important. Figure shows a potentiometer with a cell 2 volt. Clear? One cell is given to you 2 volt and internal resistance 0 0.40 ohm. Clear? It is maintaining a potential drop across register wire. Clear? It is maintaining a potential difference across this wire AB. Fine. Clear? Now, a standard cell which maintains a constant EMF 1.02 volt. Clear? So, in this question it is given to you. Here we have this is cell 1.02 volt. Clear? Okay. And it gives a balancing point 63.67.3 centimeter of a wire. It means balancing length is given to you 67.3 centimeter. Clear to everyone? Okay. To ensure very low current drawn from standard seal, a very high resistance and value of that high resistance is given 600 kilo ohm is put in a series. Clear? Which is shorted close to balance point fine. The standard cell is then replaced by an unknown EMF, clear? Now what we are doing, this standard cell is replaced by a cell that is having unknown EMF and corresponding to that one we are getting balancing length, this is 82.3, clear? So now let us try to solve some question related to this given information, clear? Now actually one parameter is given to you, balancing length L1, this is, we can see uh, 62.3 clear yes or no I mean this it is given to you 67.3 yes 67.3 centimeter when we have uh, we can say here this is 1.02 volt clear now when we have unknown resistance at the time we are getting this balancing length this is 82.3 centimeter so how can we calculate so we know that one of the application of potentiometer is to compare EMF of two cells, clear? So we can write like this, actually we know E is directly proportional to L, clear? So we can write like this, this is E2 by E1, clear? This should be L2 by L1, clear? So value of L2, value of L2 we have this is 82.3 and this one is 67.3, clear? From here you can say value of E2 this is given by this is given by value of E1, this is 1.02 volt, so 1.02 volt multiplied 82.3 divided by 67.3, clear? So if you solve it, you will find here value, approximately I can say this is 1.25 volt, clear to everyone, clear? So but number A part is clear to you, number A part is clear, what is value of uh, EMF, unknown EMF, unknown EMF is given by 1.25 volt, clear to everyone, yes. Now if we talk about part B, in part B it is given what purpose does the high resistance of 600 kilo ohm have, clear, what is the purpose of 600 kilo ohm, actually purpose of 600 kilo ohm register in a series is to limit current that is flowing in this circuit, clear, so that we can see that galvanometer can detect that current, clear? So to control the current that is flowing in this circuit, it is the main objective of this high resistance, clear? Okay. Now if we talk about part number C, is the balance point affected by high resistance? No, clear? Balance point will not be affected because we can see 
potential difference between A and B. This is given by, we can say it is KL. K is what? This is potential gradient. So we can say, uh, actually we can say this VAB, how can we calculate? We can say this is given by uh, I into R of AB. We can write like this. Potential difference between AB, this is given by I RAB. How can we calculate I? We can say, let's suppose here we have 2. So 2 volt divided by, we can say 0 0.4 plus resistance RAB and we can say total RAB. So we can say this is potential difference between A and B. Clear? So either you are connecting a series resistance or not. It does not affect the balancing point. Clear? So I can say definitely balance point will not be affected by high resistance. So I can say answer is no. Clear? No. Now if we talk about part number D. In part number D, would the method work in the above situation if the driver sale of a potentiometer had an EMF 1 volt compared to 2 volt? Now dear student, listen very carefully. We always get here balancing point. Actually what is the meaning of balance point? Balance point means we can say galvanometer is not showing any deflection. Clear? It means I can say the potential difference between A and C is the same as the potential difference between these two points. Clear to everyone? So, let's suppose what happened. Here we have 1.02 volt. So, whenever we can say this uh, EMF of this cell, clear? It is greater than this one. At that time, definitely we will get here uh, balancing point. But, let's suppose instead of 2 volt, it becomes 1 volt. At that time, you can say this EMF becomes greater than compared to this one. Clear? So definitely we can say here a particular current will flow in this circuit. Clear? It means we can say we will not get any balance point. Clear? So we can say is this method work in above situation if you place uh, replace 2 volt by 1 volt? No, it will not work because we will not get any balancing point. And how can we get this balancing point? Actually here we have a jockey. We are placing jockey at different different position and at a, at a particular position you will find that galvanometer is showing no deflection. So first how can we check here that galvanometer will show no deflection between any two points. Clear? So for that one first touch that jockey at point A. Definitely you will get deflection either in a left direction or in a right direction. Clear? Now shifted that jockey to point B. Definitely you will get here deflection in the opposite direction as compared to A. At that time I can say definitely between point A and B you will get a point at which you will find no deflection. Clear? This, was, this is a method. How can we check that deflection we will find or not? And let's suppose you are touching jockey at point A and B and you are getting deflection only a single direction. At that time you can directly say we will not get here deflection. Uh, we will not get here balancing point. And what is the reason behind that one? Definitely EMF of this circuit is less compared to this one. Clear to everyone? Yes. Now, if we talk about part number E, would the circuit work well for determining an extremely small EMF? No. Why? Because let's suppose here we have very extremely small EMF. Clear? At the time what happened? Definitely if you place jockey is very close or very near to point A, you will get balance point. Clear? And at that time, there is a possibility that you will get error to measure the balancing length. Clear? So, now how can you modify this one? You can easily modify it if you place a high resistance here. Clear? At, uh, actually, how can you modify this, uh, this circuit if you want to get that uh, small EMF? Clear? At that time, what I am saying to you, better you have to place a register in the series of AB wire. Clear? You have to place a register in a series combination for AB wire. Clear to everyone? So at that case, we can say uh, we will get here a significant amount of potential and you will get here a particular length of a balancing. Clear? So definitely like this, you can give the answer of all these parts. Clear? So this is all about this question.